when you are looking to upgrade units, improve units, whether it be you need experience, credits, um, I've already spoken about skill ups and anomalies. Let's talk about where the most effective and the best way to farm things are going to be. So in general, bounties, if you are going to be where you need credits. Now these all just have a scaling um, credit reward and equipment. So it doesn't matter which one you do, they're all going to reward the same amount. They just have different equipment sets that they drop gear from. So if we take Fenry for an example, it can drop 15,000 credits plus several, uh, um, a piece of gear. So if, you need, um, so if you need equipment and credits, farm the highest bounty you can. And that's going to be the most efficient. When it comes to farming experience points, you want to farm the hardest and highest difficulty um, campaign stage you can with the most efficient of the game. So once your account's progression is nightmare difficulty and 10.6. So that's really as far as you can go. The reason I say that and the reason I'm showing you this is the seventh stage of every campaign stage is always going to cost a little bit more energy. So it's always the sixth. So if you don't have your account progressive as far as I do, that's not a problem. To be the most efficient with your energy in getting experience, just farm the hardest difficulty campaign you can clear with the exception of the seventh stage. So that might be for you campaign chapter four, push your way and progress all the way through to campaign four and just clear up to six. And then you'll be able to farm six and that'll be the best and highest amount of experience. On top of that, you got, for your fodder, you're also going to be needing a lot of beacons. And in fact, you find um, that is actually going to be a primary bottleneck. If you're someone that also has the bit license, so you're getting a bit more, your bottleneck is generally going to be the amount of beacons you have. Even for me at my end game progression now, I'm still struggling on beacons. It's really, really, really worth noting that the percentage drop rate of beacons I've found to be the same regardless of what campaign stage you're doing. So if you're someone that has an absolute crap ton of um, experience and you do not need to farm that, but you just need some beacons in a pinch, the actual best way to farm is the complete opposite and the lowest stage because it's going to cost the least amount of energy and you're still going to have the same drop chance. But just really, really want to be really clear is only do this if you just want beacons because the experience you get from this is incredibly inefficient.